Hope so. Good. So hi, Amy. How does it feel to be honoured in this way? I, it's such it's such a thing that I could never have imagined. You know, like I, it, I mean, you're used to winning things, right? Well, that's right. Yes, I am now. Yeah. But that was not part of my life before this year, but I uh, am. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm finding it's easy to get used to. Yeah, and it's such a diverse group of you know honorees this year. Why do you think that's so important? Well, I think what's really great about this group is that, you know, diverse in a lot of different ways in terms of themselves, their uh, their queer identity, and also just the fields that they are in. And it's just a real representation that there's no field that queer people can't excel in. And now that you have a voice that people are listening to, what do you want to say? Uh, well, I want to say, uh, you know, please protect trans kids because they're under attack right now. I was testifying today about a bill that was going to take away their health care. Um, so that's really the thing that's most on my mind right now. Yeah, no, I know the fight is still going on, but there are a lot of people here trying to make a difference and they are making a difference. It's giving me hope. I've been such amazing people here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, I found I am a lot more hopeful than I was this time a year ago, um, having just seen how how easy it is for people to change their minds when they see queer people out in the world because there's we're not frightening once you get to know us. So every day that we become more visible, every day that we are celebrated like this is just one more blow to the, the forces of hate. Uh, well, a big congratulations. Well deserved. Thank you. And I'll see you on the dance floor. All right. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Thank you.